so this is a third lecture in the series and the first lecture what i covered was about the classification of the power plants starting from uh, the conventional non conventional sources of energy like the coal the steam uh, coal based power plants like the steam power plant and the diesel uh, and the nuclear etc then the next was uh, from the conventional sources of energy like the solar wind etc and then the next lecture was about the current power scenario in india and we saw that uh, the nuclear power plant or the coal based power plant constituted a large portion of the power generated then there was a hydro power plant and uh, the wind uh, power plant which constituted a large portion of the power and the solar and the nuclear respectively so coming to the so this lecture is about some of the key terms uh, which you need uh, to know about the power plants if you are to study further about the steam based power plants uh, like the nuclear power plant the thermal power plant the gas based power plant etc so the first is that the load factor so there will be a load curve so the load curve will be the graph of the kilowatt as you can see of power during a period of time this load curve could be drawn for a specific day in which there would be an average load which will the mean load average of the total load and that will be the average line of the load and then there will be a peak load which will be the highest load which will be occurring during that day and coming to the real scenario uh, the load or the total kilowatt of the power required for that entire period of a day that is a power under that graph in kilowatt hour would need to be sub, uh, supplied by the power generating capacity of the power plants which are supplying the load or the demand in that area so if there is a case where that cannot be supplied or there is a peak demand or there is a shortage of uh, power for supply it has to be met by uh, some external fact sources like some uh, auxiliary power plant or some standby power plant or it needs to be supplied from uh, some power borrowing from a nearby state or from the grid connected so again there is a load factor which is a ratio of the average load divided by peak load and it is desirable to have a load factor as high as possible why is it that it's desirable to have a peak load which is very low and which is very close to the average load so it will be desirable to have a load factor as high as possible uh, so that the total power which is uh, the so that the peak power is not very much higher than the average power so suppose there is uh, 500 or 600 kilowatt of difference between the peak power and the average power which is suppose you are saying that your average power is only 300 kilowatt and your peak power is something 600 kilowatt so there is a 300 difference and if you are planning to have a power plant then if you are very much sure about your average load then you will have you can construct a power plant of 300 or 350 kilowatt and while the situation which i said the low the peak uh, the peak load will go to 600 kilowatt in that time your the extra load needed is a 300 kilowatt which can't be met or you'll need the auxiliary power plant of a large capacity or a standby power plant of large capacity or you'll need uh, in uh, uh, borrowing of some amount of power which is in large quantity so such kind of situation is not de uh, desirable so in most cases it is uh, very much desirable to have a peak power plant uh, or a peak load very much close to the average load so it is very much uh, easier to plan and construct uh, the power generating stations of the power plants in such a way to meet the uh, load factor or to meet the load or the average load then there is a utility factor this is a ratio of the electricity generated per year to the capacity of the plant installed so uh, suppose you will be having your you have steam power plant, you have four or five turbines, you have connected uh, uh, four or five generators. So you have four generators uh, which could be generating 100 uh, uh, kilowatt of power. 
so your total capacity would be 400 kilowatt of power which is the total capacity of the plant installed but the load requirements would be close to 250 kilowatt per uh, 250 kilowatt or it would be close to 300 so you will need to only uh, start or run three of those generators uh, in your power plant so also based on the load curve uh, you will not be needing to uh, load your power plant to the full or you will not be running your power plant at the full capacity. Uh, so in such cases uh, your power plant may not be being utilized or being run to the total capacity of the plant installed. So the utility factor is the ratio of how much you have generated per year to what you could generate if you have been running your uh, power plants or generating stations to the maximum capacity. So again there is another factor which is the plant operating factor this is a duration of plant your duration during which your power plant has been running uh, to the total period considered so suppose you are considering a period of uh, one day uh, 24 hours it's possible that your power plant uh, you are having a power plant which is only supplying uh, at, during the peak load hours or during a specific period of eight hours during which uh, many industries are running in the full capacity so this is a standby power plant which you have just to take an example this is applicable to all the different kinds of power plants but just to take an example uh, uh, if that's the case then you would be running your power plant for that period of only 10 hours per day uh, so that's uh, like 10 divided by 24 if you are considering the plant operating factor for one day then that would be uh, your plant operating factor during the duration during which the plant has been in operation uh, and the total duration which was considered so if you consider one year uh, that is 365 days is possible that your plant has been or power plant has been running only during 100 days or 150 days in the case which I just explained so that will give the plant operating factor uh, during the period of uh, year so again there is another which is a plant capacity factor which is the actual kilowatt hour produced to the maximum possible to be produced if the plant was operating on the full capacity so this is again very much similar to the uh, utility factor but it is in kilowatt hour which says that how much kilowatt of hour of energy which you are produced to the maximum which was possible if you are have loaded your or if you had operated all your generating stations or all your generators uh, in the full capacity so this gives a plant capacity factor and then there is an annual capacity factor which says that the annual kilowatt hour produced divided by the plant capacity factor per year so that's the plant capacity factor if you are considering for a period of one year then it can be termed as the annual capacity factor so again uh, these were some of the important terms like uh, the load the load factor the utility curve the plant operating factor the plant capacity factor annual capacity factor so all these were some of the important uh, terms and definitions and in comparison with the load curve which uh, you need to consider while you're designing any of the power plant or considering the efficiency operate operating capacity and etc of the power plants so this will be useful uh, to to have a basic understanding or overview of all those things uh, before continuing with the other lectures which will be about the different kinds of power plants in detail and in the next uh, lecture i'll be covering about the power plant economics uh, which will again cover about the load factor diversity factor etc and again how it is possible to derive the tariff or the amount which is usually coming to the consumer or customer as the billing amount so how is that uh, derived Again, uh, if you are watching this video, uh, if you are not watching other videos in this series and if you are just watching this video uh, to the full length, then uh, you can go through the description in which I have a list of all the playlists uh, related to this chapter which is the power plant engineering and the power system engineering and also the videos related to the uh, other series like the transformers, uh, the generators, etc. So if you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel. Also do like or comment your videos to uh, comment on the video to give your suggestion related to uh, whatever is being discussed or any new topic uh, which you would like me to cover on this channel.